AI has had a huge impact in the in the drug discovery process. Hello everyone. Introducing a new podcast Beyond the Lab covering the intersection of science and technology at Origin. In this series, at each episode, we dive deep into groundbreaking discoveries, innovative technologies and the brilliant minds driving the future of science at Origin. Let's embark on this journey together and uncover the wonders that lie beyond the lab. In today's episode, we have the CEO of Origin Pharmaceutical Services Limited, Akhil Ravi, speaking at length about his vision for the organization and how a 20-year-old traditional CRO pivoting around AI he zoomed into Origin's strategy in revolutionizing drug discovery for bringing effective novel drugs faster to the market and at a cheaper cost for the customers. Let's have a look. Welcome, Akhil. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Akhil, given the advancements of AIML today, do you see any paradigm shift in the entire drug discovery process from traditional research to the AI-led drug discovery? Thank you for this question. I think AI has had a huge impact in the in the drug discovery process and this is clearly visible in the clients we serve and the customers we are speaking to on a regular basis. They have significantly reallocated you know, resources and capital to have AI as core part of their capabilities. Right? If you start with the Uber problem statement of you know the amount of money and time it takes to get a novel drug to market, roughly research has indicated it takes two and a half billion dollars and about 10 to 12 years to get to a product to the market. This is unsustainable. So if you take the value chain of drug discovery, you have what we call target identification and validation. Then you have the product molecule design. Then you have safety and toxicity studies, and then you have the clinical trials, right? These are the bro four broad areas. And in each of these four areas, we are seeing AI has proven use cases to reduce the time and cost by as much as 30 to 40 percent. So far, however, the, the holy grail is no AI-led design molecule has come to the market. So that is yet to be seen. But the initial use case and insight seems very promising. How do you differentiate between the real impact of AI and the hype surrounding it? drug discovery process specifically. Fair enough. I think today there is billions being poured into AI both by the pharma companies as well as AI, what I call AI, native AI biotech companies into the drug discovery landscape. There is a lot of hype, but we are seeing real impact. I think a few examples are even at the height of COVID, we saw AI led companies were able to successfully repurpose one or two of FDA approved drugs to target sort of COVID therapy. I think Eli Lilly's baricitinib was a classic example. We have also seen uh, uh, AI, native AI companies do sort of in-house in design, get the product all the way to clinic. One of the examples is Nimbus Therapeutics uh, molecule and Relay Therapeutics molecule, which has gone all the way to phase one and phase two. So the, there is a lot of substance in the what, uh, how AI has helped companies. Today, what we are seeing is a lot of new targets being uh, discovered. And I think the potential is the pie will grow. It is not just about, you know, uh, limited targets, large number of molecules, but large number of targets and large number of molecules. So that gives me the confidence that AI will help us expand the overall market. And, you know, we will be able to get to me medicines to the patients faster and cheaper than what we were doing earlier. Uh, can you give any specific examples, uh, specific use cases for drug discovery? Okay, that's, it's a good question. I think uh, if you look at the drug discovery value chain, you have the target validation, uh, molecule design, safety studies and clinical trial. Maybe if you go specifically into the molecule design, we are seeing a lot of use cases and also patents being filed both uh, for hit identification, hit to lead and lead optimization, right? Specifically for hit, uh, uh, hit identification, typical processes include a large scale number of molecules going through a high throughput screening. Uh, then after thousands, tens of thousands of molecules, sometimes even hundreds of thousands, you identify one hit. This process in a traditional pharma process takes two to three years, sometimes. 
what we are seeing in uh, AI model is by combining proprietary data and publicly available data combined with a set of uh, validated models and combined with smart scientists and a smart team I would say the scientist can be a traditional medicinal chemist along with a data scientist a data engineer a combination of these three capabilities is enabling us to find hits at one uh, 30 to 40 percent lower than uh, a traditional process and specifically for areas where it is a fast follower where the target is well known we are seeing the impact much higher where it is a unique target we are still seeing some impact but the impact may not be as you know as impactful as for when it's a you know well-known target many companies are promising faster novel drugs to the market and at a lower cost how is origin placed for the future okay uh, i think that's a very interesting question because two three years back we were thinking about okay all these trends are there about how ai is going to impact drug discovery so what do we do so that we don't get left behind uh, i'm proud to say that over the last two years with the help of a very passionate team uh, which is cutting across data science engineering uh, cloud compute infrastructure medicinal chemists biologists we have created an integrated platform called origin.ai which combines uh, virtual screening, leveraging generative AI to create novel compounds, uh, all the way to predicting uh, ADME and TOX capabilities. So this has been a very interesting journey. And I think what has been very proud is we have validated this in many of our targets, both internally and externally, and actually seen some you know amazing results. So uh, we are really keen to you know take this out to market, meet with a lot of customers globally, and I so that you know we can have an impact at a greater scale. Akhil, what specifics have we done in this particular area? Okay, so I think to build this integrated AI platform, I, one of the key sort of what I call raw materials is a set of curated data, right? So there is a lot of publicly available data, but you know, our data scientific team have also what done what we call structurally normalized data and put in some of our own unique data to make it really, really unique. And that unique data is then fed into a whole host of models. So we have predictive AI models, generative AI models, computational models, as well as a set of models for predicting ADME and TOX properties, right? A combination of the unique data or the curated data, I would rather say, and a whole set of models generates these results. However, to figure out uh, how do we do the how do we get the results? The third component is a compute, and we have created a scalable computational infrastructure, which is a combination of in-house compute through uh, part, uh, through the Nvidia chips which we have, as well as our partnership with Google Cloud Platform to create a really scalable platform which can you know take as high as compute as needed and scale down when it is not really required. The fourth critical component is assembling a talented team. So uh, we have across our sort of company or uh, more than 50 AI scientists working across different fields. We have AI in, uh, data scientists, data engineers, UI engineers, as and the critical component is medicinal chemists who understand how to use uh, AI. So a combination of this team is the same team which will deliver the solution for our uh, customers, right? And it and I think what I've found unique is the sci the scientist I think is the key piece of this puzzle, uh, especially the medicinal chemists, uh, because they are able to identify what is real and what is fiction based on the data which is coming out of the model. And the final one is what we call trust but verify, right? You know, one is uh, having a reliable trusted source for the data itself because customers are providing their you know their own proprietary data sometimes second is you know we are able to verify the data test it in the in the in the labs and verify whether this is right or wrong so we're able to fail iterate much faster than what we used to do before so i think just to summarize the combination of these five factors is what we have built over the last sort of two years which is one curated data uh, a very interesting set of models. Third is the compute in, scalable compute infrastructure, 
Fourth is a talented team and five and five the culture on trust but verify to create this integrated AI solution. Thank you so much for your time. I think the the summary of this is fail fast, iterate faster mm. with AI powered by AI. Uh, having lab in the loop mm. is, is something which we all are looking forward with AI. Origin.ai is another step in the in solving for the larger drug discovery piece for our collaborators. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your time, Akhil. It is a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much. Appreciate the opportunity. Thank you.